Hello, my name is Raj Chako. I'm a data center technical solutions consultant here at Cisco Systems. Today I'm going to show you how to deploy and install Cisco Container Platform 5.1. Alright, so I am here on my vCenter as you can see. This is actually a flash client. So we have, uh, I have what I've done already is I've downloaded the uh, two images necessary. One is the installer file which is uh, something that looks like this 5.1 KVM uh, KCP VM 5.1 OVA and then there is also the actual image that we will use to copy and um, you know make our master notes etc so you gotta download these two images and once I did that I, I unzipped them or untarred them once I untarred them and un you know I unzipped them to these two folders so I have this folder right here which is where the OVA is uh, for the image and another folder right here which is where the OVA, OVA is for uh, the installer. Alright, now that we have that uh, let's just deploy the uh, uh, OVA templates. So I right click here onto my cluster and then I'll say deploy OVF template. Step one is I want to deploy my uh, image um, OVA file which is right here so this is my OVA for my image uh, 18.5 I click next um, fundamentally I don't change anything on this uh, but the other OVA the installer OVA does have some requirements and I'll tell you that in a second here once I get to that and uh, as I'm recording this I'll also make sure that I'll speed through some of the uh, time taking and uh, empty screens that that I'll be dealing with here so you guys don't have to watch this um, the empty times uh, you want to make sure that uh, you know you have you pick something that has enough room because this is obviously a very large image and uh, I pick my my specific network but it doesn't really matter because this is an image uh, it doesn't matter what network you pick, but you know, for my own sanity, I pick pick the right network. Um, here in this, you know, people will think, okay, what do I need to do here? Uh, really, nothing. Again, it's just an image, so uh, all, all these credentials will be uh, will be reset. Um, but for for my own sake, what I might do is I might just uh, put. Um, uh, a username and password in case I need to go back and make a modification to the image which I, I, I don't think I will need to um, so let's see this is my public key I'll just paste it there alright so and and uh, how to get a public key is, is out of the scope of this discussion um, there are plenty of documents out there that show you how to do that alright so that's that hit finish so it's gonna take a, a few minutes to deploy the OVF template. I had already done this earlier but I removed it to show you guys so I, I, I'm just going to restart this process for the sake of the video. Alright, so uh, it's uh, that particular OVF template is done. I'm going to get the next one done. All right, same story. This time I'm going to go find the installer which is right here and here's my OVA file okay destination looks good so one of the things you want to think about this is that when you pick the network for the um, installer it has to have DHCP so you want to make sure that it's a DHCP capable network. Uh, so that's one of the requirements here. So this right here, this network has to be DHCP enabled. It's right there. It says IP DHCP. So, and then of course the key again. Now this is important. You have to have the key here. It won't let you move forward without the key, the public key. Then, then under advanced, I'll do a couple of things here. I I might add an NTP server here. And uh, oh yeah, the cider. So this is important. Uh, the, by default, it's going to create a cider for your paths. 
uh, under the 192.168.0.0/24. If you have a conflict uh, within your vSphere environment, you want to make sure that you change this to something else. You do want to keep it very large because it creates multiple paths using this. So every host gets a um, a segment of this. All right. So I don't care for this, so I'll leave it like that. Let's see, login name for install nodes. I'll just type in CCP user here. All right. All right. So that's uh, that's pretty much it in terms of uh, getting the OVS installed. Now, once the OVFs come up, I'll uh, log in and fire up the, uh, the installer VM right here, and we'll, we'll take a look at what happens next. All right. Looks like uh, we have completed our deployment. So let's fire this puppy up and uh, see what happens. Now that I have that done, let's do this. So as you can see, there is an IP address here. It says TCP uh, install UI is accessible uh, at this IP, which was the DHCP IP. Okay, and accept risk. Okay, there we go. So this is the basic installer. The first time you you get the installer, this is where you land. <coughs> okay. Let's hit install. Okay, we see it connect, and if it's connected, we'll say you know connected to provider successfully. Pick your data center, um, your cluster, your data store, and the network you want. Uh, okay, let's click next. This is only for installing the controller cluster. I'm not worried about it. I'll just do calico between them and then I'll read uh, leave the rest of them as it is. Uh, and these IPRs, by the way, this, this setup is actually for the, the controller cluster. This, like this, and then my pool. Oh, I have to use local authentication or something. Local admin password, okay. Control plane name, let's call it CCP CCP control. Okay, while this install is happening, you can actually watch it here or even on the console, it will start to make the changes right here. So, now the control plane is going to be stood up, and I'm sure in vCenter you will see that uh, um, in a little bit it will actually clone a couple of machines right there. It's already up right here. Controller master is already made. So, the name that we gave CCP control. Um, it create the master already, and it's gonna, you know, so it clones from the uh, the image to do this, and we can continue monitoring it. Yeah. There they are, the worker A, B, and C, or worker one, two, and three. Hey, so it looks like uh, the application is uh, completed its tasks. So it's saying, hey. Um, the control plane is up and running and here is how I would get to it. Alright, so let's do it. And again, it on also on the UI it, it says that. So, you know, I think if I click launch, it will actually, yep, take it straight, uh, take me straight to the um, admin uh, portal for my control plane. Control plane. There it is. So I am actually on my um, CCP control plane. So now I can deploy my clusters from here. That will be another video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put it down on the uh, on the chat window at the bottom.